Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So recently we made a video on One UI 7.0 explaining its features and also the installation process. But in that video, a lot of users are asking about downgrade process because it was not meant for India. So in this video, we'll talk how can you downgrade your Samsung smartphone if you have updated to One UI 7. These steps are quite easy. You just need a PC and just follow the guide. But before moving ahead, guys, if you find our content useful to you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. So here you can see I have my Samsung S24 which is currently running on the first beta build of One UI 7.0 which is based on Android 15 and once you downgrade your device you'll officially start to receive the OTA updates from Samsung and later on if you want to apply for the beta program you can go to the Samsung members app once the beta program starts I'll keep you guys posted about it but in this video we'll only be talking about the downgrade process and also guys make sure to take a backup of your entire device because there are possibilities that data wipe might require sometimes device boots up without wipe Wiping the data but if doesn't boot up you need to format the data i'll show you guys each and every step now first what you have to do is go to about section software information tap on the build number seven times until you see you are a developer now just allow the necessary permissions once done now you'll have developer options towards the bottom side from here you need to enable usb debugging but you can see it's not highlighted and it says blocked by auto blocker so go back go to the settings and search for auto blocker and from here just disable this and you are good to go now just again go back to developer settings and now you'll be able to enable usb debugging if you enable usb debugging you might see a pop-up which says allow usb debugging select always allow for this computer if you are using your personal computer tap on allow and that's it now on your pc you need few files so here you can see these are the files one is this tool to download the official firmware for your device the second one is Audin to flash the file and this is the file which Frija tool will download. I'll tell you guys how it will download. First what you have to do is just unzip these files which we have downloaded starting off with the Frieza tool. Once you have unzipped the Frieza tool, open it, run the file frieza.exe. So once you launch this program, it will ask you to install the Samsung drivers. If you see your device here, just ignore it and tap on no. And if you don't see your device here, just tap on yes. And it will take few minutes to install the Samsung USB drivers. After that, your device should be displayed here in this particular application. And after updating the drivers, relaunch this tool so that it automatically detects your device. So here you can see, initially you might see a pop-up again to install the drivers. Just tap on no and wait for few seconds. If not, what you can do, just go to manual, add your device model name, CSC or IMEI or serial number. So all these things can be found. So here you can see under service provider software version towards the bottom side. If you see, this is the CSC, which is INS India. So under CSC, we have added INS model number can be found here. Avoid adding this slash DS. Just add the initial numbers. After that, you can also add the serial number or if you want, you can also add the IMEI number, but make sure you use the IMEI one. So once you have all these details, just tap on check for the update. And here you can see the latest firmware have been detected which is based on Android 14 and the size is somewhere around 15 GB. So you need to download this file. Here you can see I've already downloaded on my device which is again 15 GB. Once the downloading process is completed, this tool is no more required. After that what you have to do, just unzip the Audin zip file and also unzip the firmware file. So now once you have extracted all the zip files, now you need to boot your device into download mode. First what you need to do is unplug the cable from your device. Now power off the device first. Once the device is completely powered off, now you need to press and hold up and down volume key. Hold both the volume keys and connect the cable. Now your device should boot into download mode. So I'll just connect the cable. And there we go. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see. Let me decrease the brightness. So here you can see we are into download mode now. And it says if you want to continue, press the volume up key. So I'll press the volume up key and we are into Audin mode now. Now let's keep the device here and on the PC, we'll launch Audin. You need to launch this exe file. Double click on this and it will give you a warning like please be sure to delete your Google account, Samsung account before downloading the binary. You can ignore this warning until unless you are sure that you have downloaded the correct file. So if your device is connected in the download mode, here if you see a blue tab which shows the port and that's COM8. So that means my device is successfully added here. Now I'll select the files one by one. So first one is BL, I'll tap on it and I'll locate the firmware file. So that's on the desktop, here you can see this is the file. First one was BL, I'll select the BL file, tap on open. Now you can see it's checked. 
Now going to AP, I'll select the file which has AP at start, tap on open and guys don't worry to open these files, it might take some time. So wait until you see these boxes checked. In some cases it might take 4 to 5 minutes also. Okay so now you can see the box have been checked, tapping on CP, I'll select the file which starts from CP. And now for the CSC, you can select any of the files like CSC underscore OXM but this will 100% wipe the data. If you select home CSC, there are possibilities that you can boot your device without wiping the data. But in my case, when I downgraded the device, even after using the home CSC file, it was required to wipe the data. So as said, just take a backup and select home CSC file, tap on open and once this CSC is checked, tap on start. Now wait for the process to complete. Once the process is completed, I'll get back to you guys. And here on the right top corner, you can see the progress bar. So here you can see on the order it says pass and we did not see any kind of errors here. And on the device also you can see a Samsung logo. As I told you guys to take a backup of your device and this was the reason which says cannot load system, your data may be corrupted. So we need to wipe the data here. So from here you need to boot into recovery mode. So for that what you can do is, do not remove the cable guys. You need to select try again and once you see the screen going black, just press the volume up and power key again. So I'll just select try again using the power key. Once the screen is black, I'll press and hold the volume up and power key. Now a device should boot into recovery. Once you see the Samsung logo, just release the buttons. And there you can see, we are now into the recovery mode. So from here, go to wipe data slash factory reset. Make selection using power key. Select factory reset. And that's it. Once it's done, just tap on reboot system and your device should successfully boot into One UI 6.1. And there we go, a device have successfully booted into One UI 6.1. I'll just complete the initial setup and show you guys the software information. So here you can see One UI 6.1 which is based on Android 14 and we are on the November build. So guys this way you can downgrade your Samsung smartphone, I mean the Samsung S24 series to One UI 6 if you have installed One UI 7 beta builds. And all the download links can be found in the description below. Meanwhile if you guys have any kind of questions, drop them in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.